Uh, as the author of the, the book, Getting the Blue Ribbon, in the book, one of the characters in the book says, letting something grow on its own doesn't always bring the desired result. Why do you think people aren't more intentional about working to accomplish meaningful goals? What leads them to sort of try to let things develop on their own rather than having a strategy? Mm -hmm. I think, first of all, it's because we're just so busy. When you talk about being intentional or talk about working toward um, your goals, it, it's just that. It is work. And people say, oh, I've got this schedule and I'm getting, I'm getting mediocre results. But in order to get excellent results, I got to I got to do ABC more, you know, and, and that's difficult for many people. So I think that's part of the reason. A second one is that it is difficult uh, to change something that's established and change work routines, change life routines, uh, change uh, the way you lead people. It's not, it's not an easy thing to do. I think fear has an influence in that uh, as well. One of the things that, that I use, a phrase I use a lot sometimes, is that most of us live with uh, willful ignorance, if you will. Uh, we know that we need to be evaluating our situation and making changes, but we choose not to look at or evaluate our situation because we don't like what we're going to see or the work that's going to that we know is going to be need, necessary to go somewhere else, if you will. It's part of conquering that willful ignorance. I guess there are people who can only conquer willful, willful ignorance by tragic circumstances or mm. by something bad happening to them. What's a more positive way to approach that? Sure. I think one of the biggest things is to focus on what you're going to lose if you aren't more intentional or if you aren't you know, being cognizant of what's going on around you. Um, for example, my daughter is about 17 months out from going to college, uh, my older daughter. And, and so I have noticed how much more intentional I am in making sure that every day, uh, every weekend, every opportunity I have to, to spend with her is what it should be or as much as possible because that, that's going to go away. And, and I think that's important for any of us, whether it be in our business practices, to say, okay, what am I going to lose today if I don't invest uh, my time and energy wisely? And so sometimes that's a motivator. Uh, fear, just like I mentioned a moment ago, fear can be a positive motivator to people to help them to say, okay, there are, there's something out there I'm going to get if I change direction or change behaviors in some way. But you're right. Most people, it is the tragic circumstance or something. Uh, it's the heart attack when you're 42 that causes you to change your lifestyle as opposed to uh, a more positive, less threatening uh, form.